what is up guys um i know i haven't made a video in a while it's because i was kind of busy with some other projects but um back again trying to finish this m40 so i can get it in game and so i can also teach you guys some of what i know on modeling weapons and stuff all right so um we're gonna continue by making the side rails right here and it's probably gonna be we're gonna focus on this i'll probably make after i make the barrel because it has an interest in shapes with cylinders and stuff i think there's like two different kinds but that's the i'm just gonna focus on the one with the cylinder if the other one's kind of like easier and looks better i'll probably make it but that's the one i'm gonna focus on for now so i'm just running out these real quick why moved a little all right so that's nice and flat bring this flat to right, we don't want these vertices these like those hold alt when you do that if i haven't said that already or you probably know um depends on which application you're using i think it's blender in a while so i don't really remember what you did to deselect stuff I think it's shift and my uh, I think it's shift too. I've used any of those programs in a while. Alright, so what I want to model right now is this part and the rail. So I'm gonna start with this part first. And I'm gonna just get wait I'm still on the on the mag. Alright, so I'm gonna just get these and detach this clone. Call it um cheek rest and yeah so alright so we just did center the pivot all is do that the wrong thing alright so just go move this up put it in place let's go right there and these versus and then get flat so anyway and we can place them i'm gonna just delete these two right here they really need this right now probably just gonna cut this out mm. all right so i'll focus on that when i get there so put these like that and this go right there this down here has a little wrongness right there so we'll just do that soon and we're just gonna basically get the outline in this right here you know what i'm just gonna delete these two pieces and pull this down right there probably a little bit more because our model or my model is a little bit off the reference all right so since i got that i'll just like, get it to them hold shift extrude down it's right there place these again change this pull this down straight and this in right there this one let me put it down midway right there put it in a little and we need to cut so let me just cut right there put it to the edge and the x and we'll just delete these pieces right here all right, so we got a basic outline. Now the symmetry modifier. And you see, here and put that to zero. So, I'm just put this up. And so that's looking, and 
it's pretty thin right now, so we're just gonna push out some stuff. Grab these vertices right here. Push these out. Oh shit. Still on edge mode, so we're just gonna change the um none. And I left one. So just pull these out about right there. Like there looks good. And this is kinda of other things so I'm just make it a little bit more round. Put these down like midway. And keep it around the curve and bam. Alright. So now put that back down. Editing time, which um, wait, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, I can try for the vertices. All right, sweet. I'm probably gonna put two. Wait, can I do that? Nah, they did it. So, all right, so we just gonna add a circle right here. Right now, cut. Bam, or you can just do something kind of easy. Instead of going to the card, you just get to it and click connect. Bam. But it has to be like through point to point. If there's like an intersection in between, like say I made a swift loop right here and get some of this, delete, um, remove those parts and delete those edges. And I'm trying to connect. You see this part intersecting right here. If I try to connect, it won't connect. Because you need it point to point. So that's the only way that we work. But if I use cut on this, bam, it would still connect. So it depends on what you want to do. You can use the cut or the connect. Either way is good. And we'll just redo that. And save. Because saving is good. Just going to loop right here. Push this out like that, and that seems fine. This is kind of slanted down like that, but we don't have to make it slanted. You can just leave it like that. It still looks cool, but because I feel like it, I'll push it in. Right now, I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, no one's gonna really see that anyway. It's just open it's gonna be most of like perspective view and and probably that's gonna be the furthest anyone's gonna look maybe like that but no one's gonna really be all the way back here and it's not gonna be all the way down here and to see this land so yeah let's go it's gonna be like close to that and you put that back to start Mm, on consoles it's probably like that so yeah but it's pc game so they can change the fov and they can see like all the way back so yeah we gotta be careful with that so we go back put that down and uh, it's also um with this model it you know what, I'm gonna fix this right now. Didn't have to, but in like this should be fixed. So I'm gonna just fix it. Put this down right there. Okay, it's the night mode. Alright, so we're gonna put this down. Keep moving them down. And kind of center them a little. This you can just move across like that. These two we just get them and push them down. You know, like that. Alright, that's good. Get these three, push them down like that. And move this out to the edge of that. And just going to move that out. 
and just keep doing that. Should I just move this a little bit something? Bam. Here we go. And I'm just gonna move this in a little. Probably bring these up a little. And this up. And yeah, we're just moving the vertices up. No further comments. All right, so once you guys get that straight, um, you probably pause the video to do this or whatever you do, but yeah, you are gonna eventually hear this. So whenever you finish, just chill, wait for me. Or if you already fast forward this, wait, 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 wait. What the hell is this? If I didn't do that, I would notice this probably until I was making a high poly. We are gonna delete this. That's bad. We might can't get that in the way. And yeah, this needs to be straight too. Really? Alright, so we're just gonna strain these. And get that in the X. Nope, oh, see, and seems pretty straight. Just go to the bottom view and give it a zero. And there is zero. So that's what zero looks like. And we're gonna get these straight too. Let's put everything right there. And should get the top ones too if there's any. And put both in the C and zero. Clearly, we didn't really mess up the shape of the gun that much, so we can quickly fix it. All right, so if you put on final and bam, should be looking good, and it is looking good, so we're fine. All right, no tweaks and fixes for that now. Save that, and we're gonna work on this part. But like I was doing, I was moving vertices. And so, moving vertices. At least back to moving vertices. Pull this one up. Goes with its apology. Yay. And this one touch. Pull it there. Ah. Uh, pull it back up. And move this line with it. This we can make that more so it kind of goes with this one, and this we can put on a little. Yeah, you don't have to really set up yours like that because I just want to do it because it makes the model look way better in wireframe because it could look vertices would be like this just. Not really randomly because the vertices kind of make the model how it is. Because if I pull this like all the way down here, there's going to be like a long triangle down, going down. So, yeah, we don't want to do that. But just because it's like a line like that and they're kind of on the same, the same axis, it's not going to really make much of a difference. Put it in a little 
still fuck. Maybe center. And that's really not good. Yep. Not gonna start until it's good. Yeah. Center it all. And we're centering these. That's the, that looks pretty much centered. So, going down, bam. All right, that's good. I put all that looks and we go back like that. Oh, I'm making out of you right here. Wireframe, no, we don't need wireframe. So I press three. It's in realistic, we just change that to G, get rid of the grid, back to our working view, and this one I'm just going to change to perspective, and something like that, yeah, that looks fine, so whenever I'm just working on this, you know, what it want, um, what it looks like in first person view, which that might not exactly be what it would look like, but it's close enough because a max perspective isn't really like um how it would be in a video game engine or anything like that. It's kind of just its own perspective. So we at least can get an idea of how it would look in first person view. All right, so we're just gonna finish this now. Let's see, bring all the vertices over and I'm gonna tweak this a little bit. We're not fully following the reference image, but yeah, you don't have to. And this one, put it in, put this in, got that little curve right there. Still doesn't really matter but yeah all right so we go back down right here need to cut uh, okay so you know what? let's just use a cylinder because we're a bit like that and what what's how much this is the one around here probably yeah, this will do. We change this one. One, the poly, and I'm just gonna cut across where I wanna use. So, go right here and then turn around. Wait. So this one to this one should be cut in the back. All right, it is so. Just gonna scale this real far and all the way to the moment. Put it out a little bit more just to be safe. And we're just going to do these for and you guys, you guys can go to we don't need you guys. Okay, it's all the way around. Cool. You got this. Mm, yeah, I'll put it right here. Add a symmetry modifier. I don't feel like remaking the bottom in Y. And bam. Right there is the bottom. Go make it right there. Edit the poly. Go bring this down some more. Turn on finish. And it's past where it should be. So, yeah, we can make it past it. It should be safe. And collapse that into a 
and we can remove this part even though we're gonna take that out mm. yeah we just do it like that duplicate this over it's there yes whatever and we're gonna attach them oh we do that piece that what the heck what wait no I know what I did created in the wrong layer all right so we're just gonna then the background image layer and freeze all in there and we're just gonna select these two Go to default, move to current layer, and we can freeze back them again so we don't actually need to set that. Alright. Yeah, you want to be careful here and there is. So now attach this. Mm. Alright, so now we probably feel like a boss and we got like cylinders extruded down going through a model. We're like, yeah, that's a sub. So. That's good and all, so now we want to cut it up. We're just going to go right here, extended, no compound objects, and boolean, pick up our MB, and we're going to choose this one. Yeah, why not? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're probably going to use pro boolean. It kind of works better. And we're just gonna try this one again. Mm. Should we put it as copy or reference? Copy. So I'll copy this. In 2014, the boolean is kind of a little bit different. No. Okay. Let's see what's, what happened. What happened? No what? What? All right, all right. So like this. Oh wait, so like this. My bad people. Got run B and this, and it got cut. Sweet. But we. Oh yeah, it's gonna do that. Bomb. We put copy, so this is still gonna be here. No, we don't need that. And we can delete these, and it's still got a cut. If I that up by the cuts and we need to clean up the mesh because it makes connect everything all right so we're gonna be the boss that we are and convert to the poly go back here delete half because we are really lazy as modelers and we like to do half things unless you of course can't do half you have to do everything some models like a different sides it's kind of different on each side so we want to make it different but we got some cuts here and right now nope that's for that we're gonna delete these got all these crazy Put synergy on machine. You go crazy for like, oh my god, no. No. Now we can do that one. Pick up this. And we. Touch pain. You know, oh man, you know, like, once I'm there selecting, we could just go like that. Boom, get all of them. And there's nothing else back here to select that we would like, I should select and delete. Let's go back to ah oh, wait. So I can need to support the edges, so we're just gonna do our best right now to kind of connect these one, two, and delete this and this, and then we're gonna connect. Wait, let me see. If I delete this. What's gonna happen? I think, alright, let's go. Delete everything that doesn't change the model. Nope. 
it's not going to do anything. Okay, pull that part in. Let's connect with that itself. All right, we're going to do some extended cuts. And back, get that out. Mm, this should be connected to that. All right, so we're also going to do some more cuts. Obviously, we're good at cutting, so we deserve to cut. They're just going to do all of that. And bam. But this one's now is connection with Overnyaw. But first, we're going to bring it from the top. And connect. Connect. And we got that done with can make this like straight. Yep. And these two. And that's good enough. Down here is a real mess, but we can take out this and this. Maybe this. What else isn't that directly connecting? That, um, I don't really need that. Mm, this. This is connecting to that. But if I remove it, that's cool. Um, that's gonna go in. Need a connection right now. And this is double somewhere right now. So I just wanted to do this. We, yeah, I just want to fix that when you get to I can confuse myself right now. Alright, so I'm just gonna make a cut right here. Straight to the back. Straight, straight, straight. Seems straight enough. The corner here, go back to straight. Alright, whatever. It's not straight, but it's not be that bend either. It's going to delete this. Hmm. Yep. We're going to make a cut right there again. Hmm. Just doing it for the cleanup right now. For the cleanup, you can further optimize this later. All right, so that top part is kind of good. Go to here. One, two, connect. Okay. All right. Bam. Connect. That one's straight, but this one's not. Yep, it's not. Listen a little. To save a lot of time not tweaking these small pieces but I like when they're straight so yeah pull this across and that looks straight enough wait no no it wasn't you tricked me all right so we're getting this wait no show you right click and deselect the cut if you're using Max, if not, you probably know what you're doing in Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, or whatever you're using. Hopefully, you know. So, I guess this tutorial is kind of our intermediate. People like you know about the package that you're using. Alright, so obviously, these aren't straight. You're not. Nope, I'm not gonna say that one. You're not it, and why? Bam. I'm gonna push these down. So it keeps the curve. Yeah. You know what? It's cold. Push these down too. 
all right so right now we're making some progress some progress in 30 minutes sweet So we're going slow as a turtle. This will not help to make it smooth and the uh, might have to put these things down here. The high poly. No 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 no. Let me test some real quick. Change it, but it's not completely smooth around like I wanted it to. It's just interesting. Try that again. Huh. 